Hi, we're going to do now a new kind of problem with ellipses. Previously we've been given the equation of the ellipse and we've been asked to find its characteristics. Here in this question we've been given characteristics and of the ellipse and we need to find the equation of the ellipse. We have to find the equation of ellipse with foci at 1, 0 and minus 1, 0 and major axis of length 6. Alright, so how do we solve this problem? I often begin by drawing a rough diagram of, of the data that I have. I know that there's one focus at minus one zero, the other is at one zero. What can I now gain from drawing it this way? I can tell just by looking that for this ellipse, the major axis is the horizontal axis because these two points lie on the same horizontal line. All right, so I can tell the major axis is horizontal, the minor axis is vertical. I'm just going to draw a very rough diagram of what the ellipse might look like, like that. Alright? So, we know what, what's major and what's minor. We can also tell what the, foc what the uh, center is of this ellipse. It's going to be mid midway between the two foci, as we've always said. What is the point that is midway between minus one zero and one zero? Obviously, it's zero, zero. Already, we're beginning to formulate a good amount of information um, to form the equation. Now, if we look at this ellipse, we can tell it's going to have an equation of the form x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. It's going to be a case of a standard ellipse. There won't be any constants in the x and y terms. There won't be any kind of transformation at, at all because it is quite simply a standard ellipse. Now how do we proceed from here? Now if A represents half the length of the horizontal axis which we know is in this case the major axis 2A must be 6 and A is therefore 3. Therefore A squared is equal to 9. The only thing that's now left is to find B squared. We found, the, we found all we need to to formulate the, the rest of the equation. Now, how do we find b squared? Remember, we talked about this mathematical relation. b squared equals a squared times 1 minus e squared. And I stress again, b refers to half the length of the minor axis, a refers to half the length of the major axis. In these mathematical relations, b and a ref don't necessarily refer to specifically vertical or horizontal axes. They refer to major and minor axes. If we substitute the values we found, we find b squared is 9 times 1 minus e squared. Now we've got two unknowns here. We've got b and we've got e squared. But we can find e. We can find e because we know that this distance between the center and each focus is ae, where a refers to half the length of the major axis. This length is ae. This length is ae. We know that ae is 1, because this focus is 1 unit to the right of 0, 0. This focus is 1 unit left to, of the point 0, 0. Hence, AE is 1. We know that A is 3, so 3E must be 1. And E is therefore 1 over 3. By substituting the values of A and E in this equation, we find that B squared is equal to 8. And hence, we can now confidently write the equation as x squared over 9 plus y squared over 8 is equal to 1. As you can see, this is just using the knowledge that we have of ellipses and trying to, uh, and trying to understand and discover what the other features would be of the ellipse given the data that we have. We're going to do one more question like this. Thank you for listening.